In the Modo 14.2 release, you'll find a handful of enhancements to our modelling tools, included to help improve the general usability of Modo's modelling capabilities. Let's take a look at these updates. First up is a new mode for the Bezier tool, Insert. Insert mode will place a new control point on the Bezier curve under your cursor click, allowing effortless control over the shape of your drawn curve. Background constraint now supports a negative offset amount. An option to preserve the weight values of a subdivision weight map during Catmull Clark subdivision has been implemented. By enabling the Ignore Subdivision Edge Weight setting, and then using the Catmull Clark subdivision method, the value of edge weights will remain but be ignored during subdivision. Lastly, located at the bottom of the Vertex tab in the Model Toolbox, the Reorder Index and Sync Index Order options allow you to reorder the index values of your active vertex selection. Reorder Index has three modes. Swap, which swaps the selected vertex indices by their selection order. Top, which sorts the selected vertices to the top of the mesh vertex list, and bottom, which sorts the selected vertices to the bottom of the mesh vertex list. Sync index order automatically reorders vertex indices to synchronize their order to a selected source mesh. For example, even though the topology of these two meshes is identical, Attempting to transfer this morph map is unsuccessful due to the target mesh's index values differing from the source mesh. To eliminate this problem, I can now select the same two polygons on the source mesh and the target mesh, and then run the sync index order command. Now attempting to transfer the morph map is successful.